Welcome to our show, The Automobile Brief. Today, we have some serious news to cover. A tragic accident in Richmond Hill has led to the death of a 17-year-old boy, with multiple passengers sustaining injuries. The 17-year-old driver has been charged, and police are urging witnesses to come forward. In other news, a San Diego police officer tragically lost his life in a collision with a speeding vehicle while on duty. Officer Austin Mascheter, just 30 years old, was described as a hero by the mayor for his dedication to the community. His partner was critically injured but is now stable. Lastly, a shocking carjacking incident outside Prince George Airport in BC has left the community reeling. A 29-year-old man was arrested after a violent confrontation with an elderly couple, leading to serious charges against him. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. The Toronto Star reports on a tragic incident in Richmond Hill where a 17-year-old boy lost his life following a serious crash involving a vehicle with seven passengers. The York Regional Police responded to the scene at approximately 8.30 a.m. on August 17, discovering a black hatchback in a ditch. Among the passengers, two individuals sustained life-threatening injuries, including the deceased boy and a 16-year-old girl. The police have charged a 17-year-old male with multiple counts of dangerous operation of a vehicle while investigations continue to determine if the vehicle was over capacity and to gather witness statements. In a heartbreaking event in San Diego, Officer Austin Mascheter, aged 30, was killed in a collision with a speeding vehicle while on duty. The crash occurred late Monday night, critically injuring his partner, Officer Zach Martinez, who had only been with the department for 1.5 years. Mascheter, who had served since 2019 and was known for his recruitment efforts, was honored by Mayor Todd Gloria as a hero. The collision happened after a brief police pursuit was cancelled, leading to an investigation by the California Highway Patrol. The Toronto Star also covers a violent carjacking incident at Prince George Airport, where a 29-year-old man was arrested after attacking an elderly couple. The suspect forcefully ejected an elderly female passenger from the vehicle before attempting to throw the driver out as well. The vehicle sped off but crashed shortly after, resulting in serious injuries to the driver. The suspect was apprehended nearby and now faces multiple charges, including robbery and dangerous operation of a vehicle. BBC reports a tragic incident near Street Neots where a young man lost his life in a collision involving a car and a lorry. The accident occurred around 6.40 p.m. British summertime on the B645 road, claiming the life of a 22-year-old driver from Rushton, Northamptonshire, who died at the scene. His passenger, a 22-year-old woman from Street Neots, sustained serious injuries and was rushed to the hospital. The lorry driver, a 63-year-old man from Lincolnshire, escaped unhurt and remained at the scene to assist authorities. Police are urging anyone with information or dashcam footage of the crash to come forward. Yahoo US shares exciting news about the Aston Martin Valhalla, which is undergoing final track testing at the Nürburgring as it approaches its release later this year. This highly anticipated plug-in hybrid supercar aims to be the new flagship of Aston Martin's lineup, succeeding the Valkyrie with a more accessible design. The Valhalla boasts significant updates from its original AMRB 003 concept, including a powerful 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine sourced from Mercedes-Benz AMG, delivering a staggering 998 horsepower. With advanced features like a carbon fiber body and active aerodynamics, the Valhalla promises exhilarating performance capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. The Toronto Star covers a disturbing case in Montreal where two women have been charged with kidnapping a five-year-old boy, sparking an amber alert that lasted several hours. The suspects, aged 65 and 48, faced a long gale court where they were charged with multiple offences, including kidnapping with the intent of taking the child out of Canada. Their identities remain protected to safeguard the young victim. The boy was reported missing from Brassard, Quebec, and was later found safe in York Region, north of Toronto, after the alert was issued early Tuesday morning. The women are scheduled to return to court for a bail hearing, as the investigation continues. CBC reports on the ongoing challenges faced by Tesla's full self-driving system, as technology analyst William Stein shares his alarming experiences while testing the vehicle. Despite Elon Musk's optimistic predictions about the capabilities of this autonomous system, Stein's test drive left his son terrified after the car ran a red light and straddled lanes on a parkway. These incidents have caught the attention of federal regulators, who have been investigating Tesla's automated driving systems due to numerous safety concerns, including a recent fatal crash involving a motorcyclist. 
As Tesla prepares to unveil a robotaxi, many experts remain skeptical about the safety and viability of the technology, with some predicting significant delays in achieving fully autonomous vehicles. Yahoo US reports on a tragic incident in Brockton, where a 10-year-old boy, Jalen Bush Victorian, lost his life in a car crash caused by an allegedly drunk driver. The crash, which also seriously injured Jalen's siblings and parents, occurred when Michael Escolas, who had stolen a vehicle after a concert, collided with the family's car at a red light. Prosecutors revealed that Escolas was speeding and had been drinking prior to the accident. In the aftermath, the community has expressed immense sorrow, with school officials offering counseling services to support those affected by this heartbreaking loss. Escolas faces multiple charges, including motor vehicle homicide, as the family mourns the loss of their young son. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Got a question in your mind We'll find the answer, we'll be kind Encyclopedia on everything Laugh and learn with the zing, zing, zing From ends to outer space We've got the facts in one great place for kids and grown-ups too We've got the A to Z for you Kids and grown-ups too